Hey there, cats and kittens. This week's movie review is Zerum, a Japanese science fiction action film. And my guest here is guest reviewer Oscar, my nephew. Now, Oscar, help me out. Would you say that this film is about a very attractive intergalactic bounty hunter called Iria and her computer helper, Bob, and they're going after this very dangerous weapon of mass destruction, this biological weapon called Zerum, who's this really creepy kind of hat creature. Mushroom. Called, yeah, kind of like a yeah. mushroom hat creature. The evil toad. <laughs> That's right. Um, with this powerful um, mechanical bio suit. And unfortunately, these two unfortunate electrical workers get dragged into this plot. And really, it's these two electrical workers and the bounty hunters all working together to survive against this incredibly powerful creature. And as I mentioned, it's supposed to be an easy bounty, but it's, it doesn't, no, it's not. No, 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 it's not. All right, so Oscar, give me your thoughts. Um, the pacing, how well did you think this film moved? It was very slow in the beginning, but then after, well, it progressed, it got better and better, so it, it surprised me. I thought it was gonna be a bore, but it turned out pretty exciting. Yeah, I would agree with that. As you mentioned, the pacing does pick up, so you're gonna have to be patient at the beginning. Um, what about the directing? What were your thoughts on the directing of the film? It was really like Terminator-ish, or like Power Ranger. So, if, you, if you're if you a fan of Power Rangers, you're gonna love this movie. Lots of explosions, a lot of like final forms. This isn't even my final form type thing. <laughs> right, exactly. It was, so many forms, I didn't even know if it was the same guy. It was kind of disgusting at the end. But right, now but when, when you talk about right. final forms though, just to be clear, he's talking about not the uh, the bounty hunter, but the monster the itself. The monster itself, yes. Right, and I think you, you brought up a good point. It is very Power Ranger in its production values, but what I will give it points for is at one point they do use um, stop motion um, for the creature effects, and there's really no CGI. Uh, it's all practical. Very gooey. Um, right, very gooey, which is, uh, some points it works well, and some points it does seem, again, Power Ranger level, so don't set your expectations too high. Um, what did you think of the female lead, uh, Iria? How did she come across to you? She was very calm, yet very um, aggressive. Like, I like that, <laughs> but um, she was a hero. She was an action hero, basically, but... Like I said, just like the monster, she had final forms as well. She kept on stripping, so at the end, yeah, you'll have a surprise. Right, she has a power suit, Yeah. and uh, she loses elements of the power suit. But again, they don't do anything cheesy with no, that. No, it's not that. No, no, not at all. Um, but keep in mind, it's interesting because would you say that the, the two Japanese workers are pretty much dudes in distress? Basically, yes. One of them is a jerk, and the other one's like just an airhead. Like. I don't know, he was just like, mm, 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 I'm gonna eat this. He just ate a bug out of nowhere. Right, so it's interesting. So really, um, they do have some interesting moments, but if it wasn't for the female lead, they would have been they dead. Been destroyed. So yeah. overall, um, what would you give this film? What grade would you give this film? I'll give it a C. It surprised me a lot. So um, I will say for myself, mm -hmm. um, it was okay. Uh, I don't think by any means you have to rush out and rent it on Amazon or Netflix. Uh, what about you? Do you think anyone should just go, oh, you gotta go see this right away? <laughs> no, no. But um, that little weird geisha thing was kind of strange. And yeah, the on last zero. Porn, yeah, the, on zero. And, and the last one was kind of, it just threw me off. I'm like, whoa, is this still PG? <laughs> but don't worry, like I said, no, it's, it's, it's no... It's not any over overly done tentacle stuff that you need to be concerned about. But yeah, it is some parts of it are kind of weird and freaky, but yeah. yeah, what can you do? At this point, my nephew doesn't want to promote his social media, but you can follow me on Tumblr, on Twitter, and of course, you can subscribe to this channel at Lord Coyote 2000 well, Oscar, thank you very much for your input. Yes. And I will be talking to you very soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye.